Hey guys, it's Guides here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom 3D skirt for your LEGO minifigures, like the one you see here. So this is going to be a mini-series where I'm just showing you how to make 3D clothing and things of that nature. So let me show you a few examples. One example is with my uh, Elise Custom, where she has a 3D skirt right there at the bottom. A more complex example is with my 3D Azura, where she has a 3D skirt with 3D ribbons. This type of custom clothing I will be showing in a later episode. Another type of way of showing clothing is using clay. And for this one I have a uh, 3D breast for this minifigure and a three-dimensional strap. This example has a three-dimensional cloak along with a three-dimensional hoodie in the back. And it also has a paper three-dimensional shirt. So I will be showing this in another tutorial my Bowser Jr. is an example of using clay to make 3D clothing on the chest, face, and back. And then I have some characters where I use a mixture of both techniques, clay and paper, to make a full outfit. So this is going to be broken down into a four-part mini-series. First, today I'm going to show you guys how to make basic Lego skirts right here. Then I'm going to show you how to make more advanced paper clothing. Then I'm going to show you clay, and then uh, the last part I'm going to show you guys like a mixture of both. Alright, so here's your list of materials, and this is everything that you need for the basics, not necessarily the entire uh, project. So what you need is paper, obviously, like a uh, printer paper, blank on both sides. Then you're going to need a pencil. You're also going to need a ruler and a pair of scissors. So that's all you need, uh, including a minifigure body, obviously. And um, the rest uh, is optional, like paints and markers, stuff like that, whatever you want to do to this uh, skirt piece that you make in this tutorial. All right, so say we want to make a skirt. So now we have our paper, we have a ruler, pencil, and we also have some scissors. Alright, so first things first, you can do this in multiple ways. You can line it up with your minifigure and uh, line up the piece of paper, I mean, and you can make uh, crease marks like that. Or you could do the method that I'm going to be using right now, which is just measuring it. So I already measured, and uh, using your ruler, the front side is about an inch long or an inch wide to be technical um, the sides are about a quarter inch uh, in width and the back obviously is the same as the front so um, first things first we want to line up the uh, piece with the um, Lego minifigure so we can see how far we want it uh, in length, the skirt piece, we want to see the length of the skirt, so um, right there, if we measure, it's going to be about like halfway down the leg of the minifigure. So I'm just going to put like a little mark. Alright, so now what we want to do is I'm going to take our ruler at that mark that we made and we want to put lines at a quarter inch and I'm making the lines a little bit bigger than what the actual ruler is telling me just in case because you always want to like over guess with these types of things I mean over measure All right, so now I'm gonna get the sides And the back, which again is the same as the front, so it's gonna be a quarter, I mean a half inch, not a quarter inch. Alright, so now we have these little line markings, and you can check to see if you actually um, did the length right by holding it over the minifigure and folding the sides like that. So, see the creases line up with our markings. 
And same thing right here on the sides. The creases should should line up. Yeah, they do. All right, so um, before you begin cutting, make sure you leave a little bit of space up here, and I will show you why later. But just make sure you actually have like, you know, about like a quarter inch of space above where the waistline is going to be. So now we can take our scissors and just cut this out. Alright, so now um, you want to make a tab, sort of. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to actually make a line so it's easier to see. This is the front, right? This is the front of the uh, dress that we're making. So I'm going to make a tab that goes like right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the waistline, like the top of it, where we've made all of our marks. And now I'm going to just cut straight up like that. So now you can see that we have this tab that's going to be sticking out once we finish cutting. So now I'm going to go back down on that line. And there we go. So now you're like, why do we have this weird tab? Well, I'll show you in a sec. So on the Lego minifigure, there's like this tiny little space in front of these two pegs where you can like stick a piece of paper, like here, I'll do an example. Um, like this piece of scrap paper right here, you can do something like this. You can slide it in and then just push it down. Uh, Hold on, I'm dysfunctional. <laughs> so there, you can slide something in like that. And so, basically this is what we're going to be doing for our skirt piece, is we're going to be having a tab and then folding it down, like this. So, this is obviously not going to fit, because if we stick it in the minifigure right now, it's going to be... Uh, sticking out dramatically like that so that's not what we want so we're gonna have to cut this tab a little bit uh, farther in like I'm just gonna guesstimate like about right here so slice now going to place it down um, like this so I'm gonna stick it right there I'm trying to uh, show this in a way where my fingers aren't getting in the way. So um, basically, uh, you can just do like this. Push it down, but not all the way. And then slide the piece of paper to the gap. Like, uh, like this. And then push down, and then boom. So now, you can already see that your skirt piece is coming to life. Alright, so now you can see what happens next. We just fold the paper around the minifigure. And see, you can uh, see right here with my marking, I marked half an inch, and it still wasn't enough. It didn't reach all the way through. So you can do a little bit over half an inch. But um, as long as you have like extra paper, like this extra stuff that we didn't mark, you're fine. So I'm going to fold it on this other side too, like this. And so... When you fold everything around, you can get something like like this. And you can see it's already looking like a skirt, and it's actually a little bit longer than what we measured too. So these are just um, things that you're gonna have to tweak and edit yourself. It's not that hard. It's just a piece of paper. You can just you know cut it. So now that we have this, what I normally like to do is I like to have the back be like the last, uh, like this back corner, be where the two pieces of paper connect. So I'm actually going to make a crease right here, and I'm going to cut this. Alright, so that's pretty much it for your dress piece. You can now paint it or do whatever you want with it. 
Um, if you're gonna paint it, make sure you you uh, don't use a lot of water because you know it's paper, so it's obviously gonna gonna melt and break down if you use a lot of water. And now I'm just gonna show some other customs where I use this technique. Uh, for this custom, I just use tape to hold it down in the back. And for a, another custom, I just made separate tabs. Like I made a tab in the front and I made a tab in the back. And uh, it stays together quite nicely. So that is it for this tutorial. Now you have a skirt piece that you can paint and do whatever you want with. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please make sure to leave a like if you thought it was informative. And I will see you guys in the next video.